What is happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. All right, let's keep uh, hanging out in the Lolly Hope Pub, I suppose, with Zangetsu. Why not? Hey, yeah, we got the old developer's office office here. <laughs> and they moved. <laughs> of course they would. I don't know if I showed that off in Rydia's uh, chapter, but I'm showing it off now. Yeah. Sweet. All right, let's go. Uh, let's keep poking around here, see what else we can find here. See if we can get all the treasures from the uh, towers. Yeah, we can. Sweet. Aww. Lame. That is weak. Oh, well. Huh. Well, from Eblon. What? What's going on here? Oh, the tower. Yeah. Tower Babel. Looks weird, like it did back when the giant was about to emerge from it. Yep. Absolutely. What? Oh, that's right, because he was just a uh, hat. He was just investigating. We gotta return to uh, Eblon now. Yeah, so if he didn't do all the stuff he needed to do in the Dwarf Kingdom, then. Well, whatever. Then make sure to do it before going into this Dwarven Mind Path, which is pretty, uh, mazy, so, yeah. Let's see, yeah, my equipment's pretty good. Yeah, you talk to the king and he'll be like, oh, how's, uh, how's everything going? And Zangetsu will be like, oh, everything's cool, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, then you go, you, if you go to the crystals, Zangetsu will be like, oh, okay, I guess there's nothing wrong with the crystals, so everything's cool. And so on and so forth. So I decided just to spare all of that. And kill some of these lame ass enemies. I'm surprised those guys didn't run away from, or didn't uh, use uh, recover and run. Yeah, if you're doing Zangetsu's uh, subplot last, then you should be fine. Means that it should be nothing for you. It should be really easy. And they are. Okay, Zeus is wrath, lame. And kiss, weak. I'm running away from those guys. The remedy, eh. I'll beat these guys up. Stay away from a frog toad type enemies because they can turn you into toad and that'll be pretty annoying and they don't really give you much uh, XP. Now these spells that these uh, ninja all learn, um, they can either be single target or multi target, so yeah. Which, I mean like, you'd think it'd be cool, but it's not, the spells themselves are actually are not that great. Try hitting one with shock here. I think shock is the uh, lightning elemental. Of it. Oh wow! I actually did some decent damage. Interesting. That is very interesting. But yeah, Zangetsu is still really, really, really weak, and he's just not a good player at all. He has no good end game stats, no good end game skills. He's just pretty much all around useless in the grand scheme of things. Like right now, he's he's all right, just because we're fighting easy enemies. Whoops! I did not mean to do that. I'll just run. I suppose I could have killed him, but whatever. I didn't want to waste everyone's time there. Eh? There we go, take him down to the ground. Yeah. 
Awesome. Nicely done. Kill larva. Why not? It's kind of easy. These enemies are so easy, let me tell you. You should have no trouble beating them, especially if you're doing, like what I said, doing a Zangetsu's quest uh, last. If you're doing his quest last, these enemies are a piece of cake. You do this, you do this quest first, and you may have some trouble, just because Zangetsu is so frail, but... I mean, yeah, it's it's something a good armor can't just can't just uh, fix. You know? So I guess it doesn't he doesn't learn any heal pill healing uh, uh ninja ninja techniques though, so you might want to watch out for that. Let's see, I think I'll go this way. If I'm not mistaken. Goblins and sword rats, really? How pathetic can these enemies possibly get? They do give surprisingly good XP for uh, you being alone. Get a trident. That's the uh, weapon that I really. That's the only thing I really wanted out of all these chests. Everything else I could care less about. Trident's an upgrade, really good upgrade too. I really could have taken all these guys down with uh, with shock. I think flash inflicts blind on everybody, or on either one, on either a single or multiple target. But like every other Final Fantasy game, the blind status is it sucks. Doesn't do anything. And we got a boss here against a, a Belphegor. I don't know how many Belphegors we fought as bosses. This has to be like the ninth or tenth one. That was so easy. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, I sped through that text a little bit quickly. Forget what he says. I think he's saying, like, oh, the monsters are unusually strong or something like that. But anyways, once you're done with all four uh, subquests, and play its edge again. Sweet. He opens up a secret room. That goes somewhere. I don't know. Oh, that goes over there. Okay. Huh. Yes, the Babil Tower is glowing, yes. We know. Said it a million times in this in this chapter. Alright, so we're at edge again. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and give him some good stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give him the headband. Yeah, he should be in decent shape. Let's see if we can enter the castle. We can, sweet. Can we buy stuff? Uh, looks like we kind of... We can, sweet. Awesome. Beautiful. And we are on a... Waxing moon? Yeah, the waxing moon's actually pretty good. I suppose. I could get another boomerang, but... Another metal boomerang, but I don't really care that much about it. Uh, let's see... Where's Kenpo? Yeah, alright, there we go. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, wow, I didn't have... I didn't know I was running that low on, uh... On Gil. Ha! Huh. Whoops. Uh, no, I'll keep the power arm lit. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Like, the only thing that the silver armlet would provide more of is magic defense. Which, with ninja type players, with, or any uh, or any warrior in general, 
magic defense isn't really that relevant because your magic defense multiplier is like a combination of your intellect and spirit. Like the higher both of those stats are, the higher, the more multipliers you're, you're going to get with magic defense. So, and, and since, you know, fighting players don't really utilize much uh, intellect and spirit, it's, it, it's not really important to them. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, if, don't forget, if your first uh, weapon is a ranged weapon, you can attack from the back row without, without penalty, which is nice. It allows Edge pretty much to not take much damage, but deal just as much damage as it could before. Yeah, nice. Sweet, Mithril Gloves. Nicely done. It's a 28. And I want to keep the power arm up for now. I mean, he's in the back row too, it's not, so he's not really taking that much damage either way. There we go. Nice, good cottage there. Beautiful. Oh crap, yeah. Oh, that's alright. Be able to take him down anyways pretty easily. I didn't know the souls could physically attack. That's weird. There we go, nice. Oh, he doesn't know heal pill yet. Lame. That's weak. Yeah, but yeah, as you can tell, he has a, he, Edge gets a lot more hit points in the after years than in the original. I mean, he's at level what 16, and he already has about 600 hit points. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. It's about the time he gets to 25. Yeah. Not yet. By the time he gets to level 25, he's gonna have a lot more than what he had when he joined you in the uh, in the original Final Fantasy IV game. Yeah. Huh. Right. Yep. Okay then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we gotta see what's going on in the uh, Babel Tower there. Got a high potion, lame stuff. That was a what was it? A Manji shuriken. Cool. Actually, want I'm gonna demonstrate the throw here. So a shuriken does some decent damage. Not a lot of damage, but whatever. It's not nearly as crazy as it was back in original Final Fantasy IV, but still pretty good. Uh, it, they they made it like Final Fantasy VI, where where the throw command is pretty much just a an attack that has like guaranteed 100% hit rate, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. I don't know. I could be wrong. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna be going through this cave again. Um. Later. In the uh, in the final chapter, so this isn't gonna be our first rodeo, if you know what I mean. The enemies will be a little bit harder though, obviously. They're gonna be much harder. But we'll be stronger too, so. Good dry ether. Not bad. Certainly use one of those. Could always use dry ether, absolutely. I love fighting the mystery eggs, they're so easy to beat. And yeah, if you didn't notice, uh, Edge has a new command called Mug, which is, you know, it's like steel, it's like any other Mug command in any other Final Fantasy game. 
Uh, but you know, stealing stuff in this game not really that not really worth it in my opinion. I wouldn't even worry about using it. I would rather use. I'd rather have him just attack and heal because he has heal pill. So yeah, it's good. Got a silver apple from one of those chests. So I want to save that for later. Awesome. Good treasure there. Very good. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. The save point up ahead, obviously. If you haven't played this before. I'm going to go ahead and save there. Alright, here's the save point. I'm going to save and rest up and everything. I'm gonna con and we're going to continue uh, towards the Babel Tower to see what's going on there. Next time on Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.